we're going to do only two basic exercises on pump efficiency. Number one, we have this diagram of our pump supplier and we are, maybe your boss told you to find the best optimal efficiency points. And this is very easy, it's the 73%. This area right here will be the best to operate. So, as you can see, between 700 and 900 gallons per minute this pump will be operating very very well and it will be delivering a head of 3000 between 2500 and 3000 so if we find a system or our system happens to be I don't know maybe 800 gallons per minute and we need a head of I don't know maybe 2700 this pump will be actually very good for the task. Now we can get even more data. For example, if I tell you I operate a 500 gallon per minute process, what will be the head if I tell you that my actual operation is about 65% in the pump efficiency? So I let me find pump efficiencies right here, 65%, this line. So what I need to do is just find the 500 right here. So this one is tricky, guys, because actually I have two points. And in this case, having two points, it's possible. Depends on what type of head do you want. So you have two options. Either you are working with 1,800 or you are working with 3,200. So, because I prefer working with more, we, or I choose to be that number, but actually you could set that this point right here is true, also true. You have two points in which this case might happen. This might be the case of one friend of mine, and if I go to another colleague, he tells me the same data, and he will tell me, no, I was actually working with 1,800, well, that's okay, it is possible. And uh, yeah, we're done with the pump efficiency problems, we're going to continue with more. This was a free preview, you want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course, the link is in the description of the video, you will get all access, not only that, you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface, so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here, the pump block, and then you have the sections if you're for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.